Alright, I'm going to show you my version of keto coffee. Now I'm trying to get into the ketogenic diet with as little disruption of my life as possible. <laughs> if, that's, if that's even doable. Now I have been using a travel mug about that size oh goodness gracious for 30 years or so and I drink one cup of coffee about that size as I drive to work five days a week. Unfortunately many of the keto coffee or bulletproof coffee recipes that I see they always showing you making 16 ounces of coffee uh, and they grind and they they slow brew you know it's just too complicated I need something easy and for me easy is a Keurig <laughs> now I use I'm gonna show you the two different types depending upon what I can get um, I either use Folgers black silk or the donut shop dark I just because I'm putting other stuff in it I like the coffee to be as strong as possible uh, let me just show you my Keurig it's okay it's right there no big deal just a regular old Keurig okay and uh, so let me show you my process uh, first of all we're gonna make um, now, I also one of the things that these these a lot of these people do is they use a regular blender. <sighs> Blenders are a pain in the butt to clean, so I'm going to be using this magic bullet. Uh, I think my daughter gave me this many years ago, and this is the uh, magic bullet cup that comes with it. So I'm just going to make a regular cup of coffee in the Keurig, and for the purposes of this demonstration. I'm going to use the Folgers black silk. Okay, so I'll probably I'll probably pause this here in just a minute. I don't know, so you don't have to watch coffee brew. Okay, so there it is, one cup of coffee brewed in a Keurig coffee maker. That is as simple as you're going to get. Now what I do to this is because this a lot of them will show you using two tablespoons. Uh, now the butter I use, I use the grass-fed butter. Everybody's seen that if you're trying to do uh, keto of any kind. And I like putting the butter in first. Um, now I'm not measuring it. I just kind of get a slab. Okay, about like that. Put that in there. And I like putting that in first because the hot coffee will start to um, melt the butter down fairly quickly and that'll uh, uh, actually help it uh, emulsify. Now to that, this is room temperature. This is the uh, MCT oil. This one I pick up from Amazon.com. I'll put a link to this one uh, down in the comments. Uh, because I'm using one cup of coffee, I do I use only one half tablespoon of MCT oil. And then to that, I like my cream creamy, I add one and a half. Oop, there we go, a little more than that, but I add one and a half tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. All right, the last thing I do is I'll put a splash of, uh, I'm gonna take that off, put a splash of cinnamon on top. Just to kind of give it a coating. And then we use the uh, magic bullet gizmo. Okay, now here's something I found. This is hot, this is cold. If you really crank this down tight, 
this will eventually heat this up and then you won't be able to get it apart or it'll be extraordinarily difficult. All right, so we set this in the magic bullet, press it down and away we go. Oh, let's get it going here. Seems to be an ornery with me. Come on, get in there. All right, because I put the butter in there hot, it really only takes, you know, I don't know, maybe 30, 45 seconds of blending. And then when you pop this open, oh, I see that. Ooh, I don't know if you can see that on the camera. That steam comes out, and then that allows the froth to come up. And then in my, uh, my little travel mug, I just pour that right in there. Now look at that. I don't know if we can see this on the camera or not. I'm going to try to tilt this down just a little bit. You can see it just perfectly fills the travel mug. Alright, so that's it. I'm ready to go to work. The only thing I have to clean up is this and this and this. And you just rinse them off with hot water. Uh, we put these back in the fridge and we're done. We're ready to go. Simple, easy, Keurig Keto Coffee. Magic Bullet Bulletproof Coffee. Thanks for watching. Hi guys, Dave here. And I've decided to catch up with the rest of the YouTube world and create a Patreon account. If you like the content that you're seeing, the help videos, and uh, some of the new things that I try to show you, please support my channel. I put a link to the Patreon account below, and I would appreciate you uh, helping me out. Thanks for watching. And again, all my YouTube videos, content will always be free to my viewers. Thank you very much.